And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Malphite. We're going to try another combination here with Talia Malphite. And we also have an additional different version we're going to be playing in the next couple of days also. Um, so we're going to have a uh, you know, good amount of trying with these two champions. So I uh, have two lists from players that have been playing Talia Malphite together and been having some success and um, wanted to try them out. We got some unique stuff going on with each one. So let's take a look at this first list for today. Um, you know, we have our normal um, landmark stuff, um, you know, just kind of like normal stuff. But then we also are going to be playing Sparklefly and Xenotype Researchers, which seem like a really cool combination. So we're going to be mulliganing our Sparkleflies, put, trying to put them back into our deck, and then have our Xenotype Researchers be able to grant them the plus three, plus three. I think Earth, Earth Elemental is a card that, that looks really good that I think that I should have played more of Earth Elementals whenever I... I play the list before so i'm glad we got the full three copies if we can researchers in earth elemental also that that's like the absolute dream right if we play xenotype researchers on turn three and our very next draw is like earth elemental that gets <laughs> uh that and it could be like a nine eight overwhelm that'd be crazy but yeah we got one of those we got a veil temple in here that we could copy with talia but of course we don't want like a lot of veil temples in our hand but like the first one is going to be pretty good especially when we're playing like a big overwhelm like earth elemental that definitely makes the the plus one plus zero more valuable with the overwhelm so that can work out uh let's see one spiral stairs that can create this seed of strength for both of our champions also this plus three plus two could work out well with sparkle fly um and there we go. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna try this out. Talia Malphite. All right. So let's go ahead and go play our five games in ranked. Let's see if we can see if we can figure it out. Let's see if we can figure out how to have a good successful deck with these two champions. Azir Darius. All right. They're gonna be aggressive deck, hitting hard. Um, I like Rock Hopper, Rock Hopper, and probably like Hush. I think we'll probably just keep Hush. Because again, they. Uh, maybe I should Mulligan Hush. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about keeping Hush, but I, maybe I should Mulligan it. This isn't Renekton. You know, I was thinking like Super Big Overwhelm with like Darius, but I sh that's like forever away. I should Mulligan that. House Spider is a great answer to the Rock Hopper. Okay, Shape Stone Sparkle Fly. That's not bad. And I want to get these researchers in play as soon as possible. I think blocking Grenadier is better than blocking Saboteur. Your time and cycle is done. Not 100% on that. Last buys me a new sale. <laughs> I always got those. So no landmark to copy right now with Talia. We can play this Unraveled Earth. Probably going to need to do that. Tombs, towns, and everything in between. Uh, maybe I just need to play Talia for a blocker. Yeah. I told you I would you here. You cheated. I want a rematch. In position. Could Shapestone the Sparklefly to block Ruin Runner. Or just like Shapestone Talia. Yeah, we'll just Shapestone Talia. Land do the work. 
Yeah, 2 4 champion versus 6 4 overwhelm spell shield, like, common. <laughs> I don't understand why this card's only a T4. I really don't. I don't understand why this isn't just like at least a 3-6 like the like all the other um, five mana champions. Yeah, 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 I know Kindred's only a 4-4, uh, four, four, but yeah, Lisa has a keyword. Oh, they don't even give Talia a keyword. Okay. Sparkle fly. Alright, so if I block there, I can stay alive at 1. I can hush the hunter and block the hunter. I think that's what I gotta do, probably. Yeah, before I gotta do that, that would put me at three. These hunters have just been so good. Man, we are so close. We're about to play the sparkle fly. It's gonna be a four five. These hunters. Uh-oh. I'd rather just play against Aggro. <laughs> uh -oh, I never like playing against this deck. Um, we'll get rid of Guiding Touch. I don't know. I could see keeping Guiding Touch. Eh. If this is a, a good 1, 2, 3. I've never even seen that emote before. So the other thing is that the Sia Streak, they should really get rid of the fleeting from this card at least. Like this thing's fleeting so you gotta hope that like by the time this countdowns you, you have something that you want to use for that. <laughs> they could at least get get rid of that fleeting. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. Of course, hoping to get a Shivana right there. Fire and fury burn in me. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. They are nothing. <laughs> That's not tamper proof. Go ahead and attack. All right, so I'll go ahead and play like Spiral Stairs and Preservarium and Ancient Preparations this round. So we've played two Xenotype Researchers. All right, 
right, we'll take the Malphite. It doesn't have the, the bonuses, though. I haven't found anything with the bonuses yet. We have... What? 19 total targets for these bonuses. We've already drawn, let's see, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So there, there's 14 others left in the deck? We've drawn 5 so far? That are possible targets? Malphite's champion spell is Ground Slam. Well, I think it's either skip or... I mean, I could just take another Malphite so that if they, if they do kill this Malphite, we have a second. Maybe that's just like the best option. It's not easy to kill Malphite though. We are, of course, drawing two cards this round with the Preservarium. It's at 11 out of 12. And you would think we hadn't done anything with Xenotype researchers yet. Because <laughs> even like both predicts didn't see a single thing for Xenotype researchers. I guess I'll just trade this for any of them also, so. Okay, Rock Hopper levels up Malphite. Yeah, like this this thing being fleeting is just ridiculous. believe that thing's fleeting. Oh, I'm one man short, short. I thought I, I guess I did, I had mask wrong. I thought I was still gonna have both ground slams available. But no, I only have one. Uh, yeah, we'll just put him down to eight. I could, yeah, you know, I could have like my six-two challenge, this five-four, and just trade. But maybe not. The reason to do that, the reason to trade, is to make it more difficult for a concerted strike to kill my Malphite. Hey, we found something with the sparkle fly. So they go sharp sight. I mean, that's probably worth trading with sharp sight, right? Here comes the boulder. Sharp sight. 
sure we don't get overwhelmed Malphite anymore, but we can play a new Malphite. Like, Aurelian Soul is kind of busted. Be quiet. I guess we don't trade with Sharp Sight. Yeah, Hush got me. Alright, Steinbron, thank you so much. Take care. I really appreciate that. Thanks for gifting out a sub. Gothic231, the new sub. Our third sub of the day. Time for Walkies, boy! I hope they have judgment. I hope that's the plan. How middling. That's what it looks like the plan is, because then I can stun. No, I don't have two things. I guess judgment's not the plan. Yeah, Concerted and single. Well. Stun a unit, deal three to it. Okay. Oh, no, so we did not do it. Yeah, you because know, they go to 12. And I do 10. Echo, echo, echo. This is just like the worst thing possible. I can't, I can't kill them, and I can't kill Aurelian Soul, and I can't kill Radiant Guardian. I can't do any, I can't do anything. The worst case scenario. This is just the. <laughs> all the numbers are just a little off. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, this thing has four health now. If I if I do it first, then it gets. Then it's not in combat anymore and we don't do three damage to it. So, like, the Fury would have had two health. Or the Aurelian Soul, sorry. The Aurelian Soul would have two health if I would do this first. Doing it second, it has four health. For, you know, then I would put it down to one. It just couldn't quite do anything. No landmark to copy. Of course, about to level up there, really in soul. Distance means so little when family means so much. Come on, there's so much to see. So it only does it once if you don't have a landmark. You need a landmark for it to do it two more times. Seriously? Oh, it's just showing off. The constellations bow to me! Well, that's not what we could be. We could we could have beat Judgment, but just a, a whole bunch of Concerted Strikes? That is not what we could beat. Okay, that's... That's maybe our best draw step right now. That could stop, like, you know, the 9-mana Slash Shield that would cost zero. The double Obliterate. Or really in Souls Champion spell. That was probably the best possible card. Yeah, that was definitely the best possible card for us to draw. They did have Supernova. Now they can still have, you know, fight spells and everything else. But we at least got rid of the Supernova that was going to wreck us. Oh, 
All right, that'll do. Didn't have another fight spell, I guess. Rock wins. Rock always wins. GG's. Oh, really, Azir? Well, I'm, I'm real happy that we got that win. I don't know if we'll get this one, but that was a, a real good win. And Cortex says, one rocky boy greater than a celestial god dragon confirmed. Alright, so we got a mulligan hard looking for the one, twos, and threes for sure, but even Preservarium is just like a two that just doesn't, you know, just draw some cards, doesn't like affect the board. Alright, I like both Chip and Rock Hopper. I'll go Chip. I, uh, um. and punch. Uh, I'll be surprised if we win this game. So you think it's a, you think that this is a good matchup for us? I'll be very, very surprised if it's a good matchup. They're so fast and can go so wide. If we can, if we can get a large, um, sparkle fly. I feel like that's how we can win. There is Sparkle Fly. Let's get this attack in first. It's not a large Sparkle Fly, but it's a Sparkle Fly. Show them no weakness. Another sparkle fly. Shoulder set, blade sharpened, blend that lead foot. Did you say our opponent does not have a nutty hand? What's your definition of a nutty hand? If this is not it, <laughs> what what do you expect a nutty hand to be? Yeah, turn one sparring student, turn two sparring student, plus save the spell mana for Aurelia's flawless duet. Turn three Aurelia, you know, flaw, you know, Aurelia. Turn four now, you know, starting to go crazy. Watch me now. Okay, what should I hush? All right, we're gonna hush you. Block there, block there with this. Take the rest. I can't take all that. Are you gonna do it more? Actually, you're probably you no, we'll save you. That's true, they don't they don't have Emperor's Dias or or Azir. <laughs> it's hard for their deck not to have nutty hands. All right, how can we grow this Sparklefly? Ooh, that's a good draw. That's a good draw, that could kill an Aurelia. So keeping this available to kill an Aurelia instead of playing the Sparklefly before their Aurelia goes and gets a four goes to their attack turn and get a flawless duet and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure if we're winning because of Talia. So I messed up here. Yeah, because they're going to do this. What I should have done is I should have let them play Flawless Duet, and then I ground slam 
in response to the flawless duet. And then they lead and follow. I just thought of this right after I did it. But then they lead and follow. And now both the flawless duet and the lead and follow are on, are on the stack for my ride of negation. That's what I should have done. So I, I could have just got, you know, I could have countered the flawless duet as well. I didn't think about that until it was a little too late, though. Because the big thing about the Flawless Duet is making the Sparring Student into 4-4. Four I have to say, like, these Roy this um, Unraveled Earth card is not a card that I've, like, ever wanted to put in a deck. But I have to say that it has been overperforming for us. Yeah, we actually look like we're in a good spot right now. <laughs> Our little Talia Malphite deck against the, you know, the best deck in, in Legends of Runeterra. Maybe not. Maybe not. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. So obviously we can't block any of these kind of things because then they just switch with a really uh If they do it correctly, they could either kill me or come really, really close to killing me if they do this correctly. All these blade surges, like being able to swap multiple times is so powerful. They can make it so I can't block anything. Or... Like having triple blade surge is incredible. I mean, the sparkle flies have been good for us. Don't worry. I've danced this a hundred times. Even, even as just one twos, they've been good. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. I wish I could give you sense, but I must give you steel. Stay by my side. I cannot ask for more. So I have to get a one mana blocker. No. GG's. Too much blade dancing. Five attacks this round. Five attacks. Pretty fair. Pretty fair. Yeah, it was real close. It was real close. The homecoming, the homecoming was clutch. Jarvan, Elise, Shivana. I feel like I'm gonna have time for Veil Temple Talia. I wanna try Veil Temple Talia. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like we're gonna have time for that. Lolly, thank you so much. 
glad you're enjoying all the videos and everything. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Oh, that, this could have been a good time for the spiral stairs. Maybe Talia copy, copying spiral stairs. Maybe that's actually better than copying Veil Temple. Maybe. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to go Veil Temple. We're gonna need that mana. Ground Slam's interesting. Get him, Zoe. Why did I say Zoe? I don't know why. I just had Zoe on my mind. <laughs> Get him, Dahlia. <laughs> it was because uh, I think I, I just read Gamma saying Zoe Lee in chat, and so I just read that Zoe and just said Zoe. <laughs> All right. Get him, Talia. There we go. That's better. Um, I could play this Earth Elemental. So it's a 6-5 Overwhelm. Would I rather do that? Like, see, they have the, they have the spell mana available, though, also. I'll just play that after combat. If you're just thinking, do I want to attack with the 6 5? I don't know. They. Sharp Sight. You know, block with Screeching Dragon, Sharp Sight, the Earth Elemental. Talia's better as a 5 5. That's leveled up. Give Talia that. Better as a 5-5 five five than a 7. Lately with the Twitch Prime sub. Yes. Thank you so much for that support. I know you said you like to watch the YouTube videos during your lunch break. I appreciate that. And then coming in with the with the Twitch Prime support. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Okay, so it, when it copies it, it's it's at two out of two like this was before, so we're not going to be able to add more mana with this other Veil Temple. I think Spiral Stairs Countdown 3 is probably a little too far away from mattering. That's, I guess that's the thing. Aw, <laughs> thank you. Alright, so we got our two spell mana. Probably want to. I guess we just lead with Unstoppable Force because as soon as we play Unstoppable Force, we will get um, plus three and six mana back. So we'll still be able to have the Guiding Touches to be able to protect Earth Elemental from you know Vile Feast and stuff like that. Talia looked great this game, both Talia and Malphite. Like this, like with Veil Temple, Veil Temple on four, Talia on five, plus a spell. You know, get four mana back. It looked great there. Draven as real. Okay. T 
Talia, Ground Slam, Malphite. We'll go ahead and Mulligan you. Mulligan you. So I feel like Spark you know, Sparklefly we want to get back in our attack for our Xenotype researchers and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna wait on you, Ancient Preparations. I don't need to play you immediately. Okay, so now ground ground slam can kill either champion. Okay, maybe I should have played the ancient preparations. The reason why I wanted to wait was so that I could play this Preservarium and then turn three. You know, I wanted to have four mana on turn three for the ground slam, and you know we had to play a landmark first. The party has arrived. And so this next round, we just play both of our. Landmarks, I suppose. This is a good Xenotype Researchers matchup. I was hoping to find some Xenotype Researchers. Yeah, Ground Slam has, has also looked great. Could also play this Earth Elemental. No, we'll play. We'll play these two. If it's made of sand, I can light it. All right, so I, I need to play the four three for defense. For defensive purposes. While I would like to play Talia, if I play Talia, I have no Shape Stone available. If I play Earth Elemental, I get a Shape Stone available. One Shape Stone isn't really that great. But if we play Talia, we get to draw another card right now. Draw two cards, actually, because yeah, it's summoned and. Right. Oh man, and then a flock. Alright, so we go down to nine. Cheap cards are good. That was really nice by them. So I want to challenge the Ballistic Bot, but if I do challenge the Ballistic Bot, it will turn on Scorched Earth and that kind of stuff. We just do this. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough to survive this. You just can't play around every single removal spell possible. Probably too greedy about me. I guess I should have just challenged with the 6-5. Good house spiders. Um, you know, ancient like so basically I had to play ancient preparations on turn one. I couldn't play like how, how I played like that's that's like where I messed this game up. I should have played ancient preparations instead of the draw two. Um, so just ancient preparations and then nothing on turn two and then pass because then at least I would have had this two two clockling and would have blocked this house spider. This house spider has done, you know what like eight damage to us so far. <laughs> you know like we. You know, like I had to. Um, wow, that's rude opponent. I had to. Um, I had to play that age of preparations for the two two. Uh, I didn't really realize they were going to be house spider aggro, but yeah, that's what I needed to do. All right, so that's Talia Malphite. Even though we went two and three, our list definitely felt very competitive. We had some real close games in there for our losses. 
Um, definitely felt like a very competitive list. Definitely, uh, you know, you could tell that the person that made this had been playing this deck quite a bit, uh, really been tuning it, because I was really impressed by Earth Elemental. I was really impressed by Unraveled Earth. Obviously, that last game, we had all three Unraveled Earths, and they looked, you know, that that shows the downside of Unraveled Earth, how they were just you know, not really playable that last game. But in a lot of other games, they were really helping out, being able to get turn spell mana into landmarks, multiple landmarks, card draw, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, aggro matchups are going to be a struggle sometimes for this kind of deck. And so having the sparkle fly and like the Xenotype Researcher sparkle fly stuff, that, that's pretty intriguing being able to have that access to that. Um, I wouldn't mind more ways to buff up these sparkle flies. You know, I, I, I liked the, the sparkle fly. Maybe, um, there's just, but what, you know, what to play to buff them up, I'm not sure. You know, like, there's Mentor of the Stones. Um, I don't know if there's anything better than that, because I don't know if I really want Mentor of the Stones. Um, but if there's some other way to get, like, permanent buffs on Sparkle Flies, um, I wouldn't mind it, because Sparkle Flies seems really nice right now. And it's, it seems like a good way to, you know, Destiny's Call. Uh, it seems like a good way to... Uh, to stay alive against the aggro decks. I wouldn't mind a third chip. I think I think with this deck, you pro probably should be playing three chip, but I don't really know exactly where to fit it in. Everything in the deck actually kind of played like their their role, right? Like you got to have hush, like the spiral, like having the one of spiral stairs that that could maybe go. Um, but I could see like how if you're able to copy this with Talia, how that could be pretty nice. But this is with how aggressive the metagame is. This is probably unnecessary. Obviously, taking that card out. Um, but like the shape zones, the guiding touch, those were, those were both great. You got to have these cheap, um, landmarks as well. Uh, cause you don't want too many targets. Like, I guess if you put chip in, then, you know, it's more likely that your xenotype researchers hit the chip, but one mana three, three is just always so quality. Um, but yeah, the hush ground side, like, yeah, this was good interaction. Obviously the ride negation was awesome. It won us a game once the veil temple was awesome. It won us a game once very good one ofs. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Talia, Malphite. Uh, good list and good good competitive list for sure for the for these two champions. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the list as well. Let me know what you think of it for a Talia Malphite deck. If you, you know, feel free to give it a try. Like I said before, we're going to have another Talia Malphite deck here in like two days. Um, uh, and we'll, you know, give that one a try as well. Um you know, keep keep on uh, trying out some of the new cards and interactions with these landmarks, trying to make these landmark champions work. But anyway, that's going to be it here for Talia Malphite. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.